lose the blow of corruption. Uh, really good joke by Dur right here. Here he goes for the fireball direct. And here he trade magic missile for the hit. He knows he can do it because uh, blow of corruption is gone. So he's not getting one tap right here. Hey, welcome to this video. Today, I'm going to watch the clips you've sent me on my Discord. And I'm going to try to review them and give you my opinion and what could be improved. And also what's good that you have to learn or, or like keep. So if you also want to send me the clips and want me to review them, you're more than welcome to join my Discord. Uh, I have my Discord linked in every single of my videos description. So you just click on the link, you join my Discord and go into clips right here. And you can send the clips you want or share them with people, but also ask for feedback. So if you like this kind of format, let me know in the comments. So this is the first clip we're gonna watch. So how I'm gonna process is really simple. We watch it first together without pause, and then I'm gonna rewatch it with breaks and explain um, my thoughts. So let's watch it. Okay, so first of all, um, when you engage into a fight, you need to see what class you're facing. So right now it's a bard, right? And he's playing uh, the Song of Weakness, which basically reduces your armor, uh, armor rating. And here he missed because he wasn't in the radius, which is pretty good. But I don't think uh, Nimpyo, the player here, paid attention to it. Then he, he cast fireballs, but way too far from him. He's tried to predict him by casting here, but instead he should cast at his feet. So, when you're in that situation, you see him play the song. So you back off a little bit to not get hit by the song. Then you watch what he does. So he's trying to push, and here you need to aim at his feet right here. Because if you land the fireball here, either way, if he moves forward, he's getting directed and splashed. If he goes backward, you gain space and you can kite. Because he went backwards. So he can cast another fireball and hit him again. So here he missed. Same rule applies here. His fireball is ready. Uh, the bard is already on the ramp. Almost about to jump over here. So what should we do in that situation? So the same as before. Um, you should fireball right here. Because what if if he jumps over here, he, get, he gets splashed and directed. But if he falls back toward he, this area or this area, then he... He's like far from you, so you have time to cast another spell. Here he tried to go for like a direct hit, but he misses and go behind there. At this point, you're already dead because he is in the range here. And the best you can do is try to use Magic Messiah and Arcane Shield to trade him. But the mistake he does here is he goes into the net. And the net right here slows you, uh, not only in move speed, but also action speed and cast speed. So here he's slowed already. He goes into a second net and probably like a third one. No, he doesn't. Here you cast Zap, but you know Zap is not going to kill him. Um, so if you cast Zap on him, he's going to kill you in like three hits or like four, but you won't have time to cast another spell. So Zap is definitely, definitely not the best option here. What he should have done is use Arcane Shield and Magic Missile him uh, while he's in the air. And when he drops down, the spider is going to hit him. Exactly like what he does here, but it's too late. He got hit already like two or three times, so it's GG. So this clip is pretty interesting. Uh, when my friend Dur is fighting two teamers in the cave. And shows you why uh, Wizard is really strong class um, in this situation.
Okay, so um, let's let's watch it back and try to find out what's good because most of it was pretty good. So first of all, he's analyzed the situation. Um, he sees a fighter and a, and a warlock. He keep his rain and try to poke poke them a little bit with ice ball. Here, um, the warlock is running away. He might be in the corner, so uh, there is keeping this a uh, safe distance and using lightning strike. First of all, it's a fighter, so he can't block it, and the um, lightning strike also hit Phantomized Warlock. So here, pretty good predict. Here, look at what he does. He casts Invis, because he doesn't know what's behind that rock right here. So he Invis, check, he sees Warlock. By doing this, he can fall back real quick. He pop Ice Ball to slow him down. But one detail you need to look at here. Um, the warlock is BOC. You can see the red thing on his um, longsword, and we have to understand something. Uh, BOC is eight second. Phantomize is six second. Here he popped Phantomize. He popped BOC around two seconds earlier. So at the end of Phantomize, he's gonna lose the BO blow of corruption. A uh, really good joke by there right here. Here he goes for the fireball direct, and here he trade magic missile for the hit. He knows he can do it, cause uh, blow of corruption is gone, so he's not getting one tap right here. Um, so everything was really well played. One thing I could say uh, is do not crouch while you do magic missile, cause when you crouch, you cannot hit his head, and you're hitting his legs instead if he jumps, and he can easily uh, go for the hedge on you. On you. But well played my friend so the first clip is from an apprentice of mine and he got really good at the game i would say So pretty short clip, but there's many details that are really interesting to look at. So first of all, when he goes here, um, you can see um, the player, and you can you can understand it that it's a um, it's a cleric. You can see that he runs pretty fast, so it's probably a caster cleric. And on top of that, he has a splendid cloak. So here he casts fireballs to break the door so the cleric doesn't have time um, to buff himself. He goes in. Right here it's holy strike. He knows it, so he fall back. Boom, he dodged one he dodged one of them. He goes in, fake, go back again. He go he goes out of sight. Like because of the doorway, uh, the cleric cannot cast holy strike on him. So he dodged a second one. Here, then uh, a splash, and he goes for magic missile at the end, because the cleric is stuck in the doorway, and it's really hard for him uh, to dodge them. So this was really, really well played. So thank you guys for watching. If you also want your clip to be viewed, make sure to join my Discord and also follow me on Twitch, because sometimes I stream there and I show live gameplay and I answer all of your questions. See you guys in the next one.